Good morning. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cammie and this is Cammie's Closet. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. I would greatly appreciate if you just click the subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up. It'll really help my channel grow. Um, I'm pretty small right now and I'm trying to get a little bit bigger. Anyway, straight to the point, my videos are about handbag unboxings, contemporary, luxury, style, jewelry, anything that I find of interest in my closet, I'm going to bring and share with you guys. So if you like the kind of stuff, stick around or subscribe so you'll know, hit the bell notification and you'll know when I upload videos, mainly on the weekends because I do work full time and I assure you I'm not quitting my day job. Anyway, recently me and some of my YouTuber friends have been going back into the contemporary world. Why? Because if you know anything about handbags, the luxury prices have become insane, literally. So yeah, we just, I, I don't have that kind of money to just chuck on $2,000 canvas tote bags. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to pull back a little bit and I'm going back into some contemporary and it's not new to me my whole life. I mean, I'm 55. I didn't start really collecting luxury until about four years ago. I had a handful through my life, but mainly getting, um, you know, a coach bag or a Dooney bag or a, a Michael Kors bag to me back in the day was considered luxury. Now, now not so much because, you know, everybody can afford these Chanel bags and Louis Vuitton bags and Hermes bags. God only knows how. Don't ask me. I don't know. In any case, I don't want to make this a long drawn out video like I usually do with my yap, yap, yap. Um, but I wanted a white tote bag for work. I'm selling my white Michael Kors tote bag that I've used for many years. It's still in amazing condition. I'm selling that on Poshmark. So if you want to check that out, just you know, look up Michael Kors Safiano white tote. You'll see my picture in my closet so you'll know it's me. Um, I'm also selling other handbags on my uh, community post. Please check that out. I'm selling a Valentino all leather tote bag and a Givenchy padlock Antigona, both for under a thousand, pristine condition, all the trimmings. If you want a luxury handbag, you're not going to find one for under 15, 16, 17, 2000, all leather. You're not getting one for under 2000 in any, maybe a micro you might. Um, but you know, so if you want a luxury handbag under a thousand tax shipping and everything pristine condition, check out my community post and see what I'm selling. Now let me get into this unboxing again. I wanted a white tote bag. I just got tired of using the Michael Kors. I'm using it like five years or something, but I don't want to spend ridiculous money, especially on white, especially on white. Even if the prices didn't increase, I would not buy a luxury white tote bag because uh, yeah, it's going to get ruined eventually. No, well, I'm pretty careful. My Michael Kors bag has no marks on it, but I don't want to take the chance. So I decided, let's see what everyone's talking about. Uh, my friend Winnie B, LV, she just recently opened a uh, Marc Jacobs uh, Nano Tote, Micro Tote. I'll link her channel below. Uh, Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture, she just opened a Michael Kors Micro Tote. The colors of his tote bags are absolutely gorgeous. And I just think, you know what? Let me see what his, uh, not the micro because I want this for work, so I decided to get the medium. I don't know what his medium, his small, because his totes are big. Even their mic, his micro carries almost everything you need. So I don't know if this is going to be small, medium. I'm not sure, but um, we're going to find out right now. This is how it's packed. And this came from Neiman Marcus. Hit or miss with their packaging. They're not always great. So here it is in the Marc Jacobs dust bag. My coloring is horrible. You'll have to excuse me. 
I have ring lights going today, which I usually don't use because in this room, when it's sunny out, I don't need the ring lights. And I have nowhere else to go in my house. And when it's dark, the color, it's just off. It's off. Um, if you saw my Dooney and Burke unboxing, you're seeing this either Saturday or Sunday, the 18th or the 19th. I did last week's unboxing for my Dooney and Burke um, Nano Satchel in red. The color was awful, but um, hopefully you'll see me do another video on a sunny day and you'll be able to see that better. But since this is a white bag, I'm figuring you're not, you know, it's, it's, it's going to look white. Whether the color's off or not, white is white. So let's just see. It's my first time seeing it. I hope I like it. Again, I wanted something big enough to use for work. My packaging. This is the dust bag it comes in. And of course, black and white will look fine on my video. <laughs> Let's see. And I'm not wearing my glasses right now. I will have to inspect this thoroughly with my glasses on after filming. So let's see what I got here. This is the Mark Jacobs. I didn't say Michael Kors, did I? No, I was talking about my Michael Kors bag. This is the Mark Jacobs The Tote Bag in the color cotton silver, meaning it's like a cotton color and it has silver hardware. <laughs> Let's see how this looks. Get rid of the dust bag. Again, I can't inspect without my glasses, but I will say that it's like a whitish cream, not really a stock white. And what I like is the words, the tote bag, Mark Jacobs is in like um, a beige kind of cream. And so it's not like right in your face. Let's see if you could get a good look. You know, I never had a Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag, so I don't know where, how the letters are placed. Um, I've seen plenty of videos from other YouTubers and my friends, um, but I'm looking at the way the letter, the O and the A here, the O and the A, and I thought it's supposed to fit perfectly in this strap, but maybe not. What do I know? I wouldn't know a fake bag if it smacked me in the head. So, Anyway, so this is the bottom. It has those leather kind of feet. <laughs> They're not real feet, as far as I'm concerned. They should put real metal feet, but they don't. So here's the bottom. Let me give you a side view. And the back, where it has the... Whatever that's called. You know, Marc Jacobs. It, it gives that uh, history tag or something. I don't know. This is the other side. And it... Uh, opens like this it does come whoops sorry it does come with a crossbody but I would most likely not wear this size bag crossbody unless I'm just throwing it across my shoulder because I need my hands free for a quick minute but otherwise I, this bag is bigger than me I can't crossbody it I will show you quickly how it looks against my uh, size. I am 5'1", small frame for reference. So in the crook of the arm, it's, it's really nice. Again, I wanted something for work. The leather feels very soft. It has a bit of a sheen to it. I don't know, I know you can't tell my on my screen because it's a dreary day, so you're not getting a really good idea, but it does have a bit of a sheen. Like, like you know when you pick paint and you pick either like matte or eggshell finish or sateen kind of? This reminds me 
of like it has a bit of a sheen the letters are embossed I guess it's called and they're in um like a little bit darker color than the actual bag um, the bag comes off to me like like a vanilla not stark white um, they call it cotton but cotton to me is white white this comes off to me a bit like a vanilla. Um, I was going to say this looks blurry, but it's because I'm not wearing my glasses. Um, again, after I film, I'm going to inspect it thoroughly. I want to see um, what will fit. It has to hold all my work essentials. I carry so much crap. Um, but yeah, this is a nice size tote. Um, really a nice size tote and i think i'm really liking this i think this is for holding the tail of the zipper it has like a long tail and i've seen people just like a kind of stick it in there oh it does it has this magnet you see that it has a magnet and there, and so when you put it in here, it it sticks. I ha it's covered with with um with uh, foam right now, so it sticks. So it's kind of like a little uh, zipper tail keeper, <laughs> for lack of a better word. But this is really, really nice, really really nice. It's pretty much exactly what I'm looking for, um, you know. And if this would have been Gucci or Louis Vuitton. Chanel, forget it. Um, it would have been, you know, $3,500. This, what did I pay for this? Oh my gosh, I don't even remember. I don't remember. But I got it from Neiman. I think it was not 10% through Rakuten. They're not doing that right now, I don't think. Um, maybe they're doing 4%. I don't remember. I might have paid full price for this. I'm not sure. So anyway... This is my new Mock Jacobs The Tote Bag in the medium. Tell me what you think. Again, I bought it for work. I don't work at, you know, a rock quarry. I go into an office. It sits on a file cabinet. I don't share an office with anyone, so, you know, nobody's spilling anything on my bag. And then it just uh, goes on the passenger side of my car comes home and is sitting on my uh i don't know wherever i drop it basically so again the tote bag by mock jacobs i keep thinking i keep saying michael kors in my head like i'm going to say it's michael kors it's not michael kors it's mock jacobs i will put the measurements down below and i will also put the channels down below of all my youtube friends that have recently unboxed a mock jacobs tote bag anyway have a great day and i will see you i don't know when i'm going to see you i did this video on the 11th you guys are seeing it on either the 18th or the 19th so i will See you when I see you. Have a great day. Bye.